Hello, my name is Courtney and I'm going to talk about an issue that is extremely important to me. In 2013, I got diagnosed with what is known as femoral antiversion, which is where your femur grows rotated inwards. And it's actually, it, it's a kind of common and kind of not common deformity. 99% of girls actually grow out of it, and I was part of the very small 1%. As I was growing up, everybody and me thought that I was double-jointed, like I could bend my legs weird, so we thought that that was weird and probably don't do that. <laughs> it eventually started hurting. We originally thought it was growing pains, and we went to my pediatrician who was like, oh, it's fine, she'll just grow out of it, and then I was like, I have really bad growing pain, so gotta be worse than that. We went to our family doctor and they noticed something weird, so they took x-rays. And when they when we got the x-rays back, they were like, go to a surgeon in Vieira. And then we went to the surgeon in Vieira and did some tests, like walking tests, to see how severe my legs were. And then he decided, you need to make an appointment with a surgeon in the Florida hospital and get corrective surgery because this is very severe. Uh, one week after high school graduation, I went into surgery to essentially break my femur and rotate it to the correct angle that it's supposed to be. We were suggested to do both of them at the same time, just my walk wouldn't change, like just so they would heal at the same time, but I, I felt that it would be easier to do one at a time. That way you don't have two broken legs, you only have one broken leg at a time. But that took me an entire year to completely heal from both of the surgeries. So in the first week in June, I believe, I had the very first surgery and then healed from that. I got metal hardware, like a metal cast put inside of my leg instead of like an outside cast. It was this metal rod that went from my knee to all the way up to my hip bone and it had three screws in it. One went into my hip and two went into my knee and that was how my leg healed. It didn't heal with a cast. I still was on crutches because walking on a broken leg hurts really bad. When my right leg healed completely, we went in and we had my left leg done. And that was actually rotated at a slightly different angle, I think about two degrees off maybe. That was October 3rd. Like I healed from that. I had the hardware in my legs for three and a half years. I was suggested to have it removed in uh, 2018 to prevent my bones from healing attached to the hardware and causing more further more issues. So I actually have the hardware with me. I'm going to eventually put it up on a, in like a shadow box to kind of just display it because I think it's extremely interesting. Ever since I had the surgeries, I kind of posted as much as I possibly could about them on social media. I've had like four or five people already like come to me and like ask me how the surgery process was, ask me how my healing process was, and just asking like a bunch of questions, which is why I decided that this is a video that I need to make. It's, it's been like almost six years <laughs> in the making because <laughs> I originally wanted to do it right after the surgeries, and then I was like, if I get the hardware to remove, I would want to have the hardware with me to show what's most likely gonna be inside of your femurs, which was also very interesting. As the hardware was like in my leg, I could actually feel the nail, the screws in my knees and hip. It was very, very strange. <laughs> I had a really cool surgeon, his name was Dean Cole. He, uh, he was my surgeon through both of, oh, well, actually all three of the surgeries. And the surgery was actually done through x-rays because of how they had to break the leg and at the exact angle they had to rotate it to. So the surgery was completely done through x-rays. I actually have a pair of tights that I got custom made of my x-rays after both of the surgeries. I sent them to a brand called Bad Inca off of Etsy and they made me custom tights that are in fact my x-rays and they actually use 
one of my x-rays in like all of their tights. I, I don't get like copyright or anything on them. I don't care. I just think it's really cool that people are walking around with my leg on them, especially since I know that it is in fact mine because he asked me if he could do that and I was like, yeah, of course. And then in uh, 2018 when I had the hardware removed, it was probably the craziest thing ever because I had both the hardware moved at the same time because my legs were healed, my legs were fine. And it was just really crazy to finally like see what was inside of my legs because I didn't see it before they put it in. And like you can literally like, I, I have a photo somewhere, I don't know where it is, of the hardware sitting on top of my leg and you could, and I like put all the screws in it so you could see exactly how it was. And it's just, it's really crazy that I have my casts. <laughs> I would just say like this is, if you suspect that your child possibly has femoral aversion and your doctor said they might be fine, I would, and like they have growing pains and such, I would say possibly get a second opinion just because we waited so long to get mine done. Like I was at the point where I was in pain walking up and down stairs and I had to take breaks from walking for long periods of time. Like in middle school, you had to like run the mile. I literally couldn't do it. Like I couldn't run without being in pain. And now, I mean, now I'm fine. Now I can do all of that. I can do everything. <laughs> I would just say, get it fixed while you can because it's, it's a very annoying thing. <laughs> And I could definitely say the surgeries were completely life-changing. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, research for Melanta version. It's, it's extremely interesting, especially knowing how many children suffer from it.